comedy leans pretty heavily towards male performers, which is important because media has a way of reinforcing certain ideas onto us. Whether true or not, these images subvert themselves into our collective consciousness. How many comedies can you think of where the man is some fat, lazy, bumbling dope, while the woman is some smart, sassy, and probably too good for her husband? Usually the man gets to make all the jokes while the woman is reserved to making this face. Yeah, that's the one. This is troubling because it robs women of a chance to be funny. Generally speaking, we laugh at people. Whether it's a pie in someone's face or some sort of verbal assault, it's just funny to watch someone in pain, both physical or emotional. And this goes all the way back to Charlie Chaplin, Groucho Marx, and the Three Stooges. The situations that they're put into or that they put others into is just so ridiculous that you can't not laugh. But the key is it has to be at someone else's expense. And that's the main problem with so many women in sitcoms like King of Queens, Everyone Loves Raymond, or even more contemporary shows like Superstore. It just treats women like these goddesses, which is fine, but it's not funny. But there is one show that isn't afraid to break the mold. So put on those kitten mittens and grab a beer because we're examining the deeper side of women in comedy with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Caitlin Olsen created this amazing character full of insecurities, hopes, dreams, and weaknesses. And the best part is how she's constantly abused and put down by the other characters. Keep singing, bitch! You bitch! When we get out of here, I'm gonna kill you! You gangly, uncoordinated bitch! She is the butt of so many jokes, which makes her vital to the show's success. And her character checks off all of the comedy boxes. She engages in physical comedy, takes verbal lashings, has her dreams crushed, and most importantly, is a terrible person. You want to be an elitist, get yourself a tailor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So first, let's examine physical comedy, which is like the grandfather of all comedy. I can only imagine that we've been laughing at guys getting hit in the nuts since the dawn of time. There's just something about watching someone get hurt, and even children have this sadistic streak in them. And usually, it's the guy who's taking the pain. Besides maybe a cutesy fall here and there, I can't think of many times I've seen a woman in a comedy get seriously hurt. And before I get attacked, this is not to say that I want to see women get hurt. Unless it's super funny. Dee Reynolds is not afraid to take a hit. Whether it's a dodgeball in the face or getting set on fire, she proves that she can take a punch just like one of the guys. And allowing her to get hurt gives the writers so much creative freedom. I mean, having Dee get addicted to crack is so memorable. But physical comedy can only go so far as it seems like the comedic meta has shifted to insult-based humor. And oh my god, does It's Always Sunny nail this with Dee. Even if the whole running D is a burger gag isn't the funniest, it's the fact that they're willing to attack D with all these insults. It really breaks down this idea that all women are these delicate flowers that will crumble at any insult. D's called ugly, fat, a whore, almost every single name in the book. And in other comedies, when a man comments on a woman's appearance, they're met with this look. <laughs> Having characters call each other names and getting into verbal tiffs fuels the show. It gives the other characters a reason to fire back and create conflict. So while Dee does take a lot of flack, she dishes it out as well. If you don't have car insurance, better have dental because I'm gonna smash your teeth into dust! When female characters become off limits, they become passive. And if they never get made fun of, then they have no skin in the game. They'll be living in their own little protected world, and maybe they'll say some snide remark to their husband every once in a while, but that's about it. And while physical and verbal comedy are important to sitcoms, they can get stale after a while if we don't have three-dimensional characters who want something. And in comedies, it's usually funnier if they don't get them. Dee's biggest goal is to become an actor, and the gang loves to stomp on this dream. I mean, 
How many shows can you think of where a woman is upset or depressed and everyone gets together to cheer her up and show her that she's special? We have something else too. We do? We have each other. I'm awake, I'm awake. Now, how many shows can you name where the entire cast builds her up so she can come crashing down again? It's this level of psychological torture that allows Dee to transcend to entirely new heights. And I don't want people thinking that comedy is all about some poor soul constantly losing, because I'd say the best comedic roles center around bad people. Take George Costanza. He lies, he steals, he's obsessive, is thrilled his fiance is dead, and is probably the funniest character from Seinfeld. Because being bad is funny. If the boys from Malcolm in the Middle didn't get into trouble, we might as well be watching the Brady Bunch. Just like George Costanza, Sweet D lies, steals, abuses those around her. For lack of a better word, she's a real scumbag. From Ben the Soldier to Bill Ponderosa, she isn't afraid to use people. When characters don't have scruples, they're free to do whatever they want, which ensures that hilarity will ensue. It puts them in these uncompromising positions where they're forced to dig themselves into a deeper hole, just like when Dee faked having that baby for the tax money. While I truly believe that Dee Reynolds is the funniest female character on television, there are others. I mean, 30 Rock constantly makes Liz and Jenna the butt of the jokes, and Lucille and Lindsay's shallowness and arrested development created some of the most memorable moments of the show. If you're not catching my point, just compare Pam to either Meredith or Kelly from The Office. Pam is usually a passive side character who acts as the object of a male's affection, where Meredith is some raging alcoholic, undesired nympho, and and Kelly is the perfect caricature of every desperate woman. They're funny because we can laugh at them. In Dee's case, she's a wonderful combination of being an awful person while simultaneously being a lightning rod for the entire group. Okay, okay! Dee, do the dishes! Even when she's right, she's wrong. For women to be taken seriously in the world of comedy, they need to be knocked down a peg or two. They're not gaining any favors by being placed on some pedestal. Let them get punched in the face, insulted, or their dreams shattered. And they don't need to be some perfect princess either. Because at the end of the day, funny is funny. This is Media Philosophy examining the deeper side of entertainment. Hehehehe. <laughs> Get down. What off? Off, 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 off.